the art of removing and creating a habit the insight stories of redefining habits it's as is translated as surrender to god what does it mean how can we understand both god and surrender why is called surrender to god the ultimate habit this art is important for removing or creating some habit for a people who are actually being reminding ourselves for the three niyams to make up a kriya yoga the yoga of actions tapos the ishwar pranidhan is generally translated into english as surrender to god or sometimes god awareness is a most mysterious and puzzling of all not the least because god is such an elusive principle to most of us and also because the idea of surrender often suggest the removal of personal freedom only in this last of the 10 niyams that the patanjali itself speak to speak of god that is for up till now and the focus of being self awareness and also self improvement behavior and purifying the consciousness that has all been a preparation purifying and throughout this preparation we have moved from self centeredness and selfishness to the selflessness from me to we now we take care those steps we to you and this is a significant shift in this consciousness a quantum leap into the realm of god where we even we no longer exist the god is the great unknown you may be wondering what god we are talking about here and because god has many meanings as there are people in yoga god is the great unknown beyond qualities beyond comprehensions everything that is describable or definable explainable has some qualities and while god is also present within the world of qualities the quality less state that is beyond the definition and it's really a real on god and there are some other words that are also used for the same divine principle the source the ultimate the absolute remember the state of nirodha or complete stillness we spoke about earlier that the cessation of mental activity in the mind the ultimate state of yoga or awareness or nirodha in the wake up of ourselves of the three niyamas that make up kriya yoga the yoga of actions tapos and swadhyaya that means evaluation of self and the third and final one is ishwar pranidhan that's a important nirodha and ishwar pranidhan as intertwined and the next question how to get there the surrender part is absolutely needed and the idea behind this surrender from a worldly perspective is most of us have to learn how to get go let go and give in which is why this family life is such a wonderful training ground for the spirituality it is those our relationship that we learn to accept and submit to the other and it is quite distasteful because it means to submit to an authority or to give him often with a sense of being forced to do so and the ego generally does not respond well to that and we see that even in the best of relationship when we are asked to give the to give in to the wish to the other person one who does it easily willingly and cheerfully people who have fallen madly in love they are very capable of surrender they will do anything for the happiness of the other 
person generally it does not last however as the ego eventually start to make itself heard and the loves become aware of their own wishes most of us have how to learn how to let go and give in which is why family life in such wonderful training ground for the spirituality is occurred and it is so the relationship that we learn to accept and submit from the spiritual viewpoint surrender has a very positive significance just as it does when we are madly in love love is a powerful flame and when love is there surrender does not require any force or coercion it is something that happens to us it's it's not through or an action itself surrender it is in context and it happened to us without any active participation and knowledge in fact if a person think they have surrender it is a sign they have sure sign they have a this beautiful state of acceptance or being held protected and supported and well known as yoga it's come to an careful willingness to hand over a time of infinite something that is bigger than all of us we belong to the whole and we acknowledge that we are a small part of it and we choose to cooperate and go with the flow rather than seeing ourselves as in separate or needing to control and dictate the terms the positive attitude that means to willingly search out those things that are favorable to our evolution and go feel god in our heart at most the faith in the foundations and all of an actions that does not in spirit of service to a greater good we naturally feel insignificant there is no need for false humility and we approach the life with an attitude of continuous improvement and we experience the sacred in all existence it is liberating when we offer all the fruits of our work to god we are at peace and we take neither credit nor blame on to ourselves and because both the credit and blames are surrendered to god that's the ultimate habit and rest in god awareness everything we feel think and do constant osmosis with god easiest way to to the acceptance and surrender whether we are awake or asleep aware or unaware active or a passive we try to remain in this state and this practice is known as constant remembrance and the heartfulness nature the state can only be experienced when the ego is defined to such an extent that all is left for its sense of identity without coloring energy or charge and our spiritual journey when we journey through the heart region we learn to master our emotions and desire after this we journey to the mind region and here is the process of ego redefinement really accelerate and there's a guide help to our guide and gradually it's less or less of me and eventually the god is left and everywhere we feel in our essence also that's a interesting story thanks for watching see you in the next video